hey, Vsauce, Jack here. Just kidding, I'm done with that. If I ever say that again in a video, you can penalize me and take away all of my pennies. Hello guys, it is Jack and welcome to a new video today. I'm going to be doing something I probably should have done a long time ago, and that is finally adding a monitor to my desk. So as you guys know, if you guys have seen any of my recent desk setup videos, I use a 2015 MacBook Pro as my main editing source, and I pretty much edit all of my videos, including this one, on it. So what I've done is I finally purchased a monitor for my desk setup. This is the HP uh, Pavilion 27 SV monitor for my desk setup. It's a little, whoa, shoot. All right, I hope you guys can see me. I'm way on the side. Thumbnail, maybe? I guess these scissors work. Ooh, uh, you know, this wasn't meant to be a comedy video. It's turning into one. Okay, here's a cable. There's some instruction books. CD, BGA. Uh, geez. So this is actually a lot smaller than the box. Whee! Here is the stand. Okay. Whee! Lo and behold. Okay. All right, this is almost screwed on. I'm a little bit worried because this whole thing is basically being held together with this penny. Move this. Yeah. What? The monitor comes through. After 48 hours of regular usage of this monitor, I have to say, it's definitely exceeded my expectations. When I bought this thing for 200 bucks, I did not have very high hopes. I knew it would work really well, but I didn't realize how good it would actually be. For starters, the setup was insanely easy. I literally just plugged it into the computer and there you go. It just worked. There was no going through and adding in your email address and signing up for their weird HP social media site, which I'm sure they have. It just works. And that's the best part. It's just so simple. Whenever I want, say I'm traveling or something, I can just grab my laptop and go. Or when I'm coming back here to edit, I can just plug my laptop right back in and there you go, I have that big 27 inch screen. Speaking of the screen, while it's only 1080p, it looks really awesome. And if you're not sitting too close, it still basically looks like a retina screen. It's pretty hard to actually see the individual pixels. And from far away, it could easily be perceived to be 4K. Another feature with this monitor that I'm really happy with is this IPS display. So generally with monitors, you have two different types of displays, TN and IPS. Now, TN, the problem with that is that when you look at it from different spots, say I'm editing a photo on the left side of my desk, the colors are going to look totally different than if I was editing on the right side, or if I was just looking straight at the monitor in the middle. An IPS display will look the same no matter what. You could be looking at it from all the way on the side, as you'll see in these videos, and it will look exactly the same. None of the colors will be off, and you'll still be able to see the screen perfectly. I can definitely say if you're going to be doing any video or photo editing, I would definitely go for an IPS display, and that's something that not all of HP's 27 inch monitors have. So when you're shopping for a monitor, I would look and make sure it says IPS on it. In the end, I'm extremely happy with this monitor. While it doesn't have all of the pro features, it definitely gets the job done and for a great price too. I honestly feel like if you change the logo on the bottom to LG and put this in an Apple store, you could trick a lot of people into thinking this is the $550 LG Ultrafine monitor, which is 4K and has way more advanced features because this thing looks really awesome. Guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Also, comment down below what you guys want to see for my next video. Also, a special thanks to Will for helping me out with the B-roll for this video. Alright, guys, I'll see you next time. I'm Jack. Peace. Out.